So if you've watched any of my videos before, you might know that I create quite a lot of content. I post three times a week. I'm now posting on social media and things like that. And I had a guy on a call the other day tell me that, you know, I must spend loads and loads of time creating content. And I realized like, no, I actually don't. It doesn't take up that much time. And the amount of content that I put out is, you know, it's not nothing, right? It's a few videos a week. And I realized that a lot of people don't actually think that you know, creating content can be easy. It must be this really long and, you know, difficult process and it must take a lot of time. Creating ideas must be really difficult, but it, it really isn't. And I have a system that I built out and I'm gonna show you exactly how we do that. So this video will show you how you can basically make unlimited content and how you can start to recycle content, recycle ideas across all of your platforms so that you never run out of things to say and things to post. Now, the reason this is so important is because if you're aiming to hit 10K, you can do that 10K per month with outbound methods, maybe a bit of paid ads, something like that right but as soon as you get to 10k that little wheel of you know signing clients through cold email signing clients through cold dms whatever it may be it can be a little bit difficult after that and it's difficult to grow but if you have an inbound channel where prospects can look at you and decide that you are the person to solve their problem because you've shown the value and the kind of skills and the knowledge that you have then this is such a valuable valuable asset and it's really going to push you past that 10k per month and it's something that takes a few months to really get the cogs turning and to really start to see the rewards of that so the sooner that you start this the better and if you're not even at 10k right now you haven't even signed any clients I would definitely, definitely recommend be posting content and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So my name's Ben Lister and I help agency owners by documenting my learnings on this YouTube channel that help me to make multi six figures per year. So this template is gonna be put in the description of this YouTube video. And what this is, I call it the infinite content glitch. Now this is something that's been used by a few different people before, but I've built this system up myself and I'm gonna share it with you and I'm gonna show you how it works, okay? And so the idea here is that if you are looking to post a YouTube video, a uh, YouTube short or a TikTok short, a Twitter thread or a single Twitter post or a Twitter auto DM where you say, you know, uh, reply to this tweet and I'll DM you the, the resource and all of these different types of, of, you know, posts and social medias that there is. And obviously I'm sure you can add more in, you know, maybe you want to do school posts or something like that, right? If you have an idea for, you know, let's say for my idea, it could be, you know, like how to create content. Now, the idea of how to create content, you might have people that only subscribe to you on YouTube but don't have a Twitter account so they don't follow you on Twitter. It's very, very rare that someone's gonna follow you on all of these and they're gonna be completely obsessed with your content and gonna look at it every single day and they're gonna realize like, hang on, this guy says the same thing over and over again. And so what you can do is I can write out a YouTube script in here about how to create content, right? Which basically be the script to this video, you know? So I could mention a content glitch a spreadsheet that I've got. I could talk about the facts, you know, uh, where I get my inspiration from, all of this stuff, okay? And I can write out a script in here. And then of course, each one of these points about like all of these different things could be an idea for a TikTok or a YouTube short, right? So I could talk about where I get my inspiration for content. I could talk about where I find, you know, how I use ChatGPT, for example, which I'll show you in just a second. I can write all of these points out into a Twitter thread, nice and concise, right? And I could do all of this different stuff. And so I can make so many different social media posts and so many ideas here. And of course, every single idea that you have can be basically created into a new one. So now if we got a, um, you know, inspiration for how to create content, I can now create, you know, um, inspiration for uh, email copy, right? So I could have a tweet that's talking about, you know, inspiration for email copy. I could talk about, uh, you know, a tweet, for example, that talks about how I make spreadsheets, for example, all of these different things where you're sort of like branching off ideas and to sort of, you know, we have one idea now and then we can make five ideas out of that. And then those ideas, we can make five ideas out of that. This is the infinite content glitch and this is how you basically never run out of things to say. And so if you're just starting out or even if you have a lot of ideas on the page but you're starting to use them up, you might be thinking, okay, where do you get your inspiration from? And so the way that I get my inspiration is literally by looking at what other people are doing and seeing if I can put my perspective on the situation. So my YouTube account here is subscribed. I've subscribed to a bunch of people that you probably recognize, you know, people in business like Alex Formosi, for example. I can go onto his channel and he has tons and tons of video. I can filter by oldest and see some of his old ones because sometimes the oldest videos are usually the best. He can have a video in here that talks about, you know, how to win in sales without being skilled, right? And he's going to give his perspective on sales. I have my opinion on sales because obviously I take sales calls and, you know, I, I know how that works and I have my own philosophy and what's been successful for me. And so I can take a point that he's created and then change it to what I think, right? So if Alex Hormozzi talks in here, for example, that in sales calls, you shouldn't mention the price until the end of the call, right? So I can say, you know, sales uh, shouldn't, uh, mention 
price. Let's just pretend that that's spelled correctly, okay? And so now I can come in here and write out a whole script about why this is important. You know, you don't wanna give the price because you wanna give the value first, all of this kind of stuff. And so now I have six or seven points in here that's talking about why this is important, why you definitely should do this, giving lots and lots of value based on, you know, my experience in the past. And now I can make six or seven points in here that it's gonna be a YouTube short or a TikTok. And now I can make all of these different tweets. And you can see how just this one YouTube video here has given me like five or six different tweets that I can use. And I can go through all the different channels that I follow and, you know, people that I that I watch and stuff like that. And there's just so many ideas out there. If you're not on YouTube, for example, you can go on Twitter and you can search for, you know, cold email, right? Let's let's talk about, let's see what people talk about with cold email. Okay, let's just, some of them obviously we're not gonna see. Let me go to the top. Okay, so this guy here, here's a step-by-step -step guide how to build a domain, buy a domain, so possiblechange.com at the end. Okay, cool. So you can talk about maybe do a YouTube video on how to actually do this, how to set up an email account because I know how to do this. So I could show people, okay, this is specifically how you do the domains. Maybe I'm gonna make a tweet on talking about which domains to use, how to make one domain into 50 domains so you can basically use your name many different times and so you're not gonna risk putting your main domain in spam. I can make a YouTube video about that. I can make TikToks about that. I can make you know Twitter threads, Facebook posts, LinkedIn posts, put it in my email newsletter. Maybe I could make an Instagram post about that, but I don't know if that would actually work with Instagram. Uh, but there's just so many ideas and so many different things. And, you know, let's say, for example, you are working in real estate, right? Let's say you're dealing with real estate agents. I can put real estate leads in here and let's see what we get. Okay, now we have a guy in here that's talking about some kind of shady practice in real estate, right? I'm not a real estate expert, right? But I, I don't really know too much about the industry, but I'm sure that I could find something in this video that talks specifically about the, the content or the, the industry that I like, right? An industry that I'm a part of. And so you can find so many different ideas here now. Like this one here, I don't really know what this is. I know what Zillow is, for example, but I guess it's saying that, you know, this website is getting more traffic now. People are trying to buy homes from homes.com rather than Zillow. You can talk about that. What's your experience with homes.com? Should real estate agents be using this, right? You're adding value, you're basically putting yourself out there that you're a bit of an expert in this field. You're knowledgeable, you can share some value. And so when you set this up properly and you have, you know, the right call to actions in your profiles, the right call to actions in your descriptions, and obviously you put call to actions at the end of the video and throughout and all that kind of stuff, people who are watching this video are going to be your type of prospect. And so they're going to actually want their problem solved. They have some kind of knowledge that they want to find. And so if you have this knowledge or if you have this service that they're looking for, then you have so much more of a higher chance of actually booking these people in. If you are just putting your name out there, putting your content out there and putting what you know onto video format, you know, onto the digital format and basically creating content. Now, when it comes to actually creating these scripts, okay, I like to use ChatGPT and ChatGPT is a bit of an enigma. People think sometimes it's the best thing in the world. Sometimes people think it's the worst thing in the world. But as long as I give ChatGPT some information, right? So if I come in here, right, and I grab like one of these, okay, I can tell ChatGPT, okay, you know, this is the kind of prompt that I like to use. ChatGPT, you are a content creating genius, okay, or expert, right? Okay, maybe I, should, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let me do it again. Okay, please write a YouTube video script that will be at least 10 minutes long talking about how to create content. And boom, just like that. And now what I'm saying is that this doesn't have to be perfect, right? I'm not even going to read through this because it looks it looks like it's going to be quite a long time because I've asked for a 10 minute script. Um, so obviously at this point, you need to tweak this, right? And you need to add in your own thing. Maybe there's a specific point that you want to mention that's in your mind, right? And you've wrote it down on the spreadsheet, okay? And what you're going to do at this point is you're obviously going to put it in there and edit this so that it actually works, okay? But this is a starting foundation for a YouTube script is so much more important and so much more easy to use than it would be for if you just type it out, right? And especially when you're just starting out and creating YouTube scripts and creating, you know, tweets and stuff like that. It can be very, very difficult. I can now tell ChatGPT, okay, now turn this into a five-part Twitter thread. Just like that, boom, you know? And I'm pretty sure <clears throat> I would need to double check this is all the same. It looks like it's the same because they're talking about SEO and stuff like that, right? I think that it would be the same stuff, okay? And so now, for example, I've just taken this exact content that I've used. So you could put, for example, you could put your YouTube script in there. You could say, you know, I'm gonna send you a YouTube script and then I want you to convert it into a Twitter thread. Here's the YouTube script and it will just do it for you, just like that. So it is kind of crazy. And obviously you need to tweak around with the prompts and stuff because sometimes it will just put some information out there that isn't true. It just takes information from the internet, basically. So just wanna be careful with that. But as long 
long as you're putting a few points in there that are from yourself and that your ideas, then you know, you're know you gonna be able to create tons and tons of content and you can talk about pretty much anything. And another little thing that we have here in the spreadsheet is actually the growth section, okay? And so when you're growing your pages and you're posting content, first of all, no one will see your posts because you're not gonna have any followers unless you just start you know, putting it out on like Facebook groups and stuff like that. No one's gonna start to see this, okay? And so what we have here is a system that I built out that I use every single day where when you are going and you know growing these accounts, whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Facebook, whatever it is, you just wanna go out there and make sure that you're actually sending out connection requests, friend requests, people who potentially would want to watch your content, who could watch your content, and then also commenting and liking on those posts, right, to create engagement. Because the way that the algorithms work is if, if you add you know 5,000 Facebook friends, which I think is the maximum, and you don't respond to anyone's posts, you don't engage with them, you're never gonna be put onto their timeline, right? Because Facebook likes to put posts on the timeline from people that you actually know and interact with, maybe you speak to a lot, so you see a lot more from your friends that you're close to, rather than people that you don't really know. And so if you're commenting on these posts and liking these posts and stuff like that, you're gonna get pushed further and further up the timeline, and obviously you want to add value here. You don't just want to be saying, you know, great post mate or something like that. You want to give your perspective on stuff. Maybe there's something that you can say, you know, that adds towards the ideas that you have in your content or something. Maybe you can be a bit humorous with your, with your comments, right? And so you want to come in here and just make sure every time that you've done it, you just tick these off. Okay, you've hit your uh, connection request. You've done your LinkedIn comments, your Facebook friend request, your Facebook comments and likes. Uh, you've followed enough people on Twitter each day. You've applied to enough people on Twitter each day. And then you've also done YouTube comments on the kind of posts that you are looking looking at right and if you're not sure who to actually comment on or what to, to do right just go to your youtube subscriptions like the videos that you watch on a regular basis like give your perspective because there's so many people out there that watch youtube videos and they do not comment they do not like they do not interact and obviously that's completely fine right but when you're trying to grow your channel and you're trying to actually get your name out there and just let people recognize who you are then this is the kind of stuff that you need to be and there's also in here some metrics that you can track so let's say you want to put your youtube subscribers in here and you can put you know um, i'm now at like 200 subscribers and then the next day I'm at like 205 and you can start to see that progression and you can easily see you know for example where you were and what kind of progress you're having and it's going to be a really big motivator to actually make sure that you keep doing this every single day and you just come in here and you start commenting on things and you're subscribing to people and you're you know posting that content out there and so this is basically how I create all my content. If you are looking for more clients for your agency, go ahead and click the first link in the description. It's not some opt-in. I'm not gonna be blasting you emails and texts and all that kind of stuff. It's literally just a video of me explaining what my company does and how we've done this for many different agencies in the past. You don't have to click it, of course. I don't really care if you do or not. But if you did enjoy the video, then like it, of course. Comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I appreciate you watching this one to the end. Cheers.